Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, August 31st, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat is just very quietly waiting by the door. I have with me this beautiful cross that's helping me pray. I finally had to say goodbye to my sunflowers here, so the flowers are still beautiful though. And this beautiful cross. After popping over to Second Chronicles yesterday, we're back to First Kings this morning. And Solomon has finished building the temple and God speaks to him as God spoke to him at Gibeon, right, as he was made king. And God says, this is wonderful. You've done a good job. I'm here with you. If you follow my commandments and do what is right, I will stay here and I will bless you for many generations. But if you or your children forget me, if you stray from my ways, this temple will crumble. And so God gives Solomon both a blessing and a warning. My love for you is here. I will bless you. But it is a fragile and conditional love based on your adherence to my doctrines and laws. And if you stray, if you disobey me, this beautiful place that you've built, it will not last. This was God's word to Solomon, a word of love and approval and affirmation, but yet a word of condition, a scary word. Everything is good so long as God is pleased. But if Solomon's children were ever to displease God, everything could fall apart like a, like a house of cards. It's amazing to read this scripture because it shows us how and why Jesus came. As Christians, uh, one of my favorite theologians, Richard Hayes writes that we have to read backwards. We read the Gospels in the light of the Hebrew Scriptures, and we can only understand Jesus in light of what happens with Solomon in this temple. Jesus is saying that all temples will fall, and his temple does fall after he's dead and gone and resurrected, but the temple of his body rises. Nothing that we build here is permanent. And yet, God's love is not conditional. It will not leave you. Even if we mess up terribly, all we have to do is say, I'm sorry, please return to me as I return to you. Nothing is destroyed in God's love. And that's what Jesus came to tell us. Nothing at all. God's love resurrects. Let us pray. Almighty God, in the wake of this terrible hurricane, we ask you to bless the people of Louisiana. They need to rebuild and we need to help them. We need to show them that your love resurrects and rebuilds. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to serve you today to manifest that love in the world. Thank you for all the opportunities you give us to serve you, to love others, to do what is right. Help us to walk in your ways today. Bless those who are ill or sick or suffering in any way. Bless the lonely. Bless our servicemen and women. Bless the people in Tennessee and in the western part of this country, suffering from drought and wildfires. Lord, bring us together as a human race that we may show one another unconditional love and the rebuilding of this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.